we've re-found quite an exciting piece of video in our archive. Not really in the archive, in a cardboard box on the floor in the basement. It shows exploding pianos being studied in this building, or rather outside it. And it's quite an exciting story. Our former colleague, Colonel B.D. Shaw, who was a lecturer here and expert in explosives, he fought in the First World War, was asked to be an expert witness in a court case. The BBC used to have a show, a music show, called the Billy Cotton Band Show, which was really quite an important show on the television. I remember it always opened with Billy Cotton, the bandmaster, saying, wakey, wakey, in a way that I can't really imitate. Wakey, wakey! And there were also lots of dancing women in a way that would now be considered extremely sexist. Anyway, the exploding piano occurred in the photo shoot before one of his programmes. And they were filming a pianist called Alan Breeze playing on the piano as it was wheeled on a cart, some sort of cart. And the idea of this sketch was that the piano would explode at some time during the song they were singing. The explosion was going to be caused by a sort of firework known as a flash pot. The sort of things that are normally used in films for battle scenes or by real armies when they're training soldiers, so they make quite a bang. One of the technicians had the idea of adding some flour to make more white smoke. Now you've probably seen on our videos before that if you take powders like lycopodium you can cause quite a flash when they catch fire. It was a really dumb idea because when they let it off the piano exploded. Several people were seriously injured. It's not clear now but somebody may have even lost an eye and as a result of this there was a court case and B.D. Shaw was brought in, I think, to try and decide whether it was the fault of the people who made the flash pots or it was the flower. That brings us to the film, because B.D. Shaw shot film of his experiments, which presumably was then going to be shown in the court case to show the results. And it's a really nice piece of scientific research, because first of all, they look at what happens when the flash pots explode, there were two sorts from two different manufacturers, Payne and Brock. Then, as the second stage, they let off a flash pot with some flour with a box over the top. From what you can see, it probably looks like an ammunition box. It was not long after the Second World War and you could get these boxes that bullets were kept in. And you can see they fly up to really quite a large height. The final stage was to try the flash pots in the pianos. And I have to explain that in those days, pianos were very cheap. Lots of people had pianos in their houses and they were being thrown out because they were buying record players, televisions and so on. So it wasn't an expensive experiment. And so they decided to blow up some pianos, beginning with just the flash pots and then putting in more and more flour. And you can see when they got the recipe right, or perhaps you would say the recipe wrong, there was really quite an explosion and practically nothing at all left of the piano. And even now it makes quite good viewing watching these pianos blowing up. The other thing which is quite interesting is that the place where the explosion was done was behind exactly the same building where Pete and Neil in more recent times on our videos have let off cesium and potassium. Oh! 
So there is really quite a long tradition. There is one quite serious message for all of you who are scientists now, or going to be scientists, which is that B.D. Shaw and his colleagues left this nice video, but they didn't leave proper lab records. So we can't get the most out of the video because nowhere do we have the description of exactly what the experiments were. So when you do your next experiment, make sure you write down what you're doing so that in 50 years' time, 70 years' time, people can find your experiment and understand what you did. Isn't the more important lesson, don't put a bunch of flour in your flash pot? <laughs> well, yes, I suppose if you're lucky enough to have a piano, first of all, don't put a flash pot in it. And if you have to, keep away from the flour. <laughs>